Good afternoon everyone and welcome along to the October 2022 statistics meeting. Thank you so much for coming along to this consultation today. I'm interested in your views more than you are mine. Your statistics, how do you think it went? That's what this is all about. It's not about my set for the channel, it's all about you. And that's what this meeting is here for. If you've had a shocker of a month, if you've had a brutal month, even if others on the channel have had a good month, your opinion's just as valid. Um, we, I am a little bit earlier today because I was going to do it this evening, but we've had a couple of races already. We've been unlucky. We had value today. I put it as a one star, but the thing is that first race was decent. Navarrosse very close to a place. Second race, we got gambled right in. You can look at that either way you want, but anyone who wanted could have laid that for big money, eight to one pre-race. And it, the money came for it for a reason. It was just unlucky on this occasion. If you keep putting yourself in the right position over and over again, you're laughing. I'm just saying that in case anyone's... If anyone was looking at me today thinking, does Connor believe he sh maybe shouldn't have put that out? Not at all. To be honest, it 1.5 star today, if not a two star. By the way it ended up, we was just unlucky. No regrets whatsoever from me. Keep putting yourself in the right position and you're going to win long term. We're going to go through the statistics. There is one update. That noise is Kathy destroying my sofa. She just destroys everything. This chair that I'm sitting on, the chair I'm sitting on now, I have to take into the bedroom at night. I have to leave this chair in my bedroom because otherwise she just kicks the out of it. She hates it. She just, she just destroys it. Hang on, battery problems now. Right, okay. Well, I've got 10% battery, so this is not going to be a long statistics meeting unless I want to do it later. I'm going to go through the sets of statistics. I'm going to go through a couple of other things. How did it go for October on the channel? Everything's going to be in the description box, and I do have another set of statistics for you, okay? I've got another set. But here's what I've got for the Connor 500 channel for October. Let's just do a refresher of the rules for anyone that's new. So if you're new to the channel, if this is the first video you're ever watching of mine, um, or the first one of them, there, there's some very specific rules for the statistics. Here they are. I take the lowest price, I take the lower price, that the horse is 15 minutes after upload. So 15 minutes after upload, I take the price then, if it's lower, and I don't get higher prices. If you ever see me miss out on one, if you ever see me miss one, please let me know. I'm never gonna be offended. If you ever see me miss out on one of these rules, I'm never gonna be offended, just let me know. So I take the lower price after 15 minutes. We have other rules. I never take standout prices. You can't have standout prices on this. No standout prices. Extra places rule. There needs to be three firms paying an extra place for me to take it. So if you, because officially, I'm, officially I'm saying 365 or Sky. 365 is slightly easier for me as a channel thing, but it's 365 or Sky. But if you see on odds checker, 3656, Sky 6, and the rest of them at five, that means I take five. So just to avoid confusion on the statistics, that's what's happening. There was a couple more. Can't remember what they are now. Oh yeah, no lucky 15 bonuses. Can't take lucky 15 bonuses on the channel, but I don't half advise you to get them if you can. If you can get them, and there was another rule, but I can't remember what it was. Have a look on the, uh, on the description on a normal video. Right, here's what happened for October. I've got it. Statistics are stakes of, for just for statistic purposes. I've got it as a total October stat. I'm going to say this really clearly because I, I want it to make sense. O okay, October stake. The October stake is 13,310. The October return is 14,950, which means the October profit is 1,640. I've got that at basically 12%. I've got that at basically 12% for October which Gold Trip done us a massive favour on. Gold Trip done us a big old favour in the Melbourne Cup. So for the total channel statistics, the total statistics for the channel, I've got it as 162,910. I've got a return of 183,430, which means a total profit of 20,520, which is a ROI of 12.5%. Does that make sense? It's all going to be in the description box. So I've got it as basically 12% for the month and 12% for the year. I'm more than happy with that for the statistics. 
I'm more than happy with that. But guys, lies, damn lies and statistics. You never want to trust them. You never want to trust them. Um, I do have another set though. I tell you what, and this is fantastic. Marvin Goddard, a kind viewer of this channel, who's been here for 14 months now, Marvin Goddard, has kindly allowed me to upload his statistics onto my statistics hub. And they're a fantastic set of statistics, well organised, very easy to see. So if you go on my statistics hub now, have a look on my statistics hub, which I'm going to put the description box in the thing. Guys, it needs updating, it needs updating, all right? I may be a professional punter, but I ain't an organiser, okay? I do what I can, all right? I do what I can. I've got skills in some way, and I'm a bit lax in the others, all right? So you have to bear with me on that. But go on to the statistics hub. The first page should be the overall of mine, which is pretty updated. And on the second page, you'll see M. Goddard statistics, which are fantastic, and I'm glad to see them. I'm just going to give you the overview of Marvin Goddard statistics, and then, but you have a look on the statistics hub yourself for the individual ones. The overview of the amount that he's bet and the amount of return and everything for the last 14 months. So this is 14 months since November 2021. The to this is real money. This is real money now. This is actual real cash. This is real money. So real money, the total stake is 18,099 euros. So it's all in euros. 18,099 euros. That's the total stake. You've got a total return of 22,661 euros which is a total profit of €4,562. Euros. Lovely jubbly. I, that's made out to be an ROI of 25.2%. Beautiful. 25.2% over the last 14 months. And I think that's roundabout right, I do. I know I'm saying 1020, but you've got to look at my channel rules. I ain't taking the extra places. I'm getting no bonuses. I'm getting no standout prices. The viewers aren't confined to those cages and it's a good cage to be in don't get me wrong don't get me wrong because i know what i'm doing but this is why and also i think to be fair this viewer is slightly this view is cleverer than the average this view is going to be a cleverer viewer than the average so but even if you said even if you said 20 percent, even if you lowered that down from 25 to 20 to 20 absolutely solid but if you have a look on the statistics hub then it's going to be on there. And thanks so much for that, because that's well organised. It looks good. That is what I want the Connor 500 statistics hub to look like, to be fair, because it's just easy to see. That's what it's easy to see. It links up to the other things on the page. But yeah, so have a look on the statistics hub. And one thing I will say, if there's anyone else watching this, if there's anyone watching this who's pretty organised themselves, if you're organised, and if you can manage a little statistics hub like I've done for M. Goddard, Please let me know and we'll get one for you on there as well. We'll get one for you on there as well. Because that's what this is all about. This ain't about some set of statistics for the channel. This is about real hard cash. This is about real money that viewers are getting. Do you know what I mean? That's what it's about. That's what it's about. At the end of the day, it's about money in your pocket. Um, a few things I was going to say. This video, I ain't going to make it too long in case it goes. One thing I will say, the next statistics meeting from now, November statistics meeting, I'm going to go through it day by day. I'm going to go through it day by day. The reason I am not doing that right now is because I'd have to go back through the month. Whereas, I've got a new weekly newsletter. I don't know if you all know about this, but there's a Connor 500 weekly newsletter out on a Sunday evening. There was one on Sunday. It's in the community tab. The community tab. Most YouTubers can see it, but on some platforms you can't see the community tab. But it is there, it's free, but it's just depending which platform you're using. But So now, for the next month's statistics meeting, I'll have it all written down each day, because I'm just doing it each day now, rather than going back, do you know what I mean? So next month's statistics meeting is going to be more detailed within the individual days. But please, the main point of this video, please tell me what you got. And even if you're not organised... There's a few people who let us know on here. It's not completely organised, but it's a rough gist of what we're doing on here. Even if it's just a rough gist, just say, Connor, this isn't a, a complete set of stats, but this is what I've got. You know, is this what I'm estimating at? Lovely. Let us know. Let us know. We want to know. We want to know. Um, we've got the FIFA World Cup coming out. Qatar World Cup. I've got two separate ways I'm considering playing this. Two separate ways I'm considering playing this World Cup. But I'm holding my cards to my chest for now. 
I'm going to take as much advice on this as I can from the right places to take advice for this. I'm not... Okay, yeah, cool. I'm just going to... Cool. Cool. We're doing... Okay, cool. FIFA World Cup, nearer the time we'll deal with that. What else can I say? I was blessed enough. I was blessed enough to be given a shout-out the other day. And I... Was that my first... I can't remember my first one, but I was blessed enough to be given a shout-out. So I thought I'd throw two out myself just for people who want to have a look at if they're interested in something in the gambling industry. First one... Fantastic writer. By the way, I'm unbiased with these two because I'm not picking anyone I've spoken to. I'm not shouting out anyone I've spoken to because that would be biased. But if you're looking for a fantastic insight to boots on the ground bookmaking on course and everything else, Simon Knott writes some fantastic articles on his day in, day out adventures on the turf. But he also, he's wrote a proper book about it with his experience of it. I couldn't recommend it enough. I think Not is a genius at what he does to the audience he's going to. So that's my first shout out. And the second one, if you're looking for a good video to watch on YouTube, if you're looking for a good YouTube video to do with punting from someone who knows what they're talking about and has been on both sides of the counter as a full-time pro and as a proper independent, and bearing in mind I'm unbiased here, I've never spoken to these people, so I would type in AK, AK Bets. AK bets. There's only one video on here now, which was about a meeting earlier on in the year. But I think that's got some. I think that channel's got some fantastic potential. Fantastic potential. So I, I'm personally interested in it. This is an unbiased shout out. I'm personally interested, and there's probably a few other punters who are as well. I've done the World Cup. I've done that, guys. I'm going to leave it on this note. I'm going to leave it on this note. You are going to see a big vibe change on this channel. You are going to see a massive vibe change on this channel. In 10 years, my daughter's going to be a young adult. In 10 years from now, my daughter's going to be a young adult. And I don't want... Oh, oh, <clears throat> by the time that she gets to that point, I want this channel to be a calm, good-vibed, nice channel, as it should be, and as the viewers are. I don't want her to come seeing me spitting out of the mouth because someone dared to back a forecast. It's not... It, there's, what, there's more important things than being right, you, okay? You're better off, and this is the crux of it, this is the main crux of it, you're better off having a good vibe than you are being right. And uh, don't get me wrong, if you want to ask me for guidance on the channel, I'm here all day long. I'll, I'll guide you all day long. But as an overall argumentative thing, it's more important to have good vibes than it is to be right. So from going on now, I'm just going to stick to good vibes only. And that does not mean that I've conceded that reverse forecasts are good value, because they're shocking. But the good vibes rule out. So that's all you're going to see on this channel, is good vibes, and I promise you that now. I promise you that now. Promise you. Good vibes only from now. I'm going to leave it at that. Check out my stats. Check out Marvin Goddard's stats. Have a look at Simon Knott's book and his, and his day-in, day-out adventures. I love them. Boots on the ground. Anyway, have a good one. Bit unlucky today, but it was a weak day. It deserved a lucky 15. I'm going to leave it at that. Next month's statistics meeting is going to be a lot more organised. I'll see you all tomorrow. Well done, gold trip for the Melbourne. I'm looking forward to the Breeders. And I must admit, I'm looking forward to the FIFA World Cup. I'm looking forward to the World Cup. I'm sure there's a few more bits I was going to say, but I'm going to leave it at that. Take care of yourself. Have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow. We grind on. The percentage is there if you want it. If you want the percentage and you can keep it consistent, then it's there if you want it. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the morning. Looks quiet. Breeders' Cup. Hopefully we can do the same in the Breeders' Cup as we did in the Melbourne. I'm going to leave it at that. And if I remember anything else, which I no doubt will, it's going to be in the description. I'll see you there. Thanks a lot. Connor 500. Over and out.